Hello everyone, we're gonna learn how to change the strings on your guitar today and why would you want to change the strings? Well, there's many reasons uh, and the most important one is after a while the strings are starting to sound a little bit dull uh, they, you lose a lot of that high end and that crisp that we really like on the acoustic instruments so we want to change the strings and get, get some new ones and uh, make the guitar sound much much better and how do we change strings? Well you need some stuff before, uh, so what, what you need is one of these. And this is a string winder that you use to wind the strings. And also there is a clipper right here on the winder where you, that you can use to cut the string. Uh, you can also use you know, any wire or string clipper uh, to cut the string. But usually when you get one of these, you have one right here. So this is, uh, this is a good, good tool for you to have when you change the strings. Also, of course, you need a new set of strings. Um, I'm going to put on a light gauge string set here, 12 to 54. And we're going to dig right into it right away. So now, as you can see, the low E string is loose. And we want to pull up this peg right here. Usually you can pull up the peg with your fingers, but as you can see on the winder there's usually a cutout right here that you can use to pull up the peg from the bridge of the guitar. So now we got a new E string right here, and as you can see on the bridge pin there's a cutout right here. And when you put the string in the guitar, be sure to put the peg in with the cutout facing the string. And after you've done that, gently Pull the string at the same time as you're pressing down the peg, like this. There we go. So now we want to attach the string to the machine head. So you want to thread the string through the peg from the center or, or the middle of the headstock. From the inside to the outside right here. Like that. And make sure you have a little bit of space here, so you have some, some space between the string and the neck. So when it looks like this, you want to start winding. And as I wind, I'm starting from the top, and I want to finish on the bottom. So the string winds like this, down towards the headstock. like that. You can now adjust the string and bend a little bit like this and then just use the clipper to cut the string close to the peg. And then you do the same thing on the next set of strings here and I just did the A string, here's the D string from the inside of the headstock out like this, just like that. And you use the string winder and you string it. Make sure the string goes down towards the head headstock and not up right here. The reason you wanna you wanna have the string going down instead of up is because then you get a better angle to the nut here. You put more pressure on the nut and therefore a, a bigger sound, greater volume. And once you get to this side of the headstock, make sure to go once again from the inside of the headstock and out like this. So when you get to the two highest strings right here, uh, we're going to use a different technique. So we go in, right, like that, pull the string so we have some space left so we can wind the string, like this, and then we use the this part of the string and go back under the string and pull it, pull it hard, like that, and then you do this. You go over the string, like this, 
and you kind of lock the string in place right here because we don't we, on these high high strings you can see uh, there are no winding right here so we want to lock the string real tight like that and once you've done that you can start winding the string like this And I'll do the same thing on the high E string as well. So now everything is done here. Uh, you want to make sure that all of the strings are between the pegs and not outside the pegs going like this because that's not good for your guitar at all. It can actually put some wrong pressure here on the nut and yeah, it's not, it's not a good thing. So make sure it goes from the inside of the peg to the nut, like I've done on all these six strings. So now I've changed all the strings. Uh, I just tuned it up um, using the Pro Guitar Tuner, of course. You can download that one to your phone. Make sure to do that, it's the best one. Anyway, so yeah, it's tuned up, but it's one last thing that you want to do before you start playing and that is just stretch, lightly stretch your strings out a little bit uh, to make sure that they settle just a tiny bit. It, it, you don't want to pull too hard, you know, but just pull a little bit. I use my thumb to press down this way and my index finger to pull up like that. So you kind of stretch the string from both directions like this, like that, just a tiny bit and then tune it up. And you do that on all strings. Instead of you know, pulling the strings like this, uh, you kind of put some weird pressure on, on the saddles here, on the saddle on, on the bridge. But if you pull, press down the, the thumb and up with your finger, you kind of pull this way, so that's better. So do that on all strings, tune up, and you can start playing. So thank you for joining me, check out some lessons on the site ProGuitar.com and I'll see you soon, bye. Mm -hmm.